Dave Smith throwing. Of course, Ryan on deck. Ashby, high drive, deep right field. Down the line of its fair, Astros win. Astros win. Home run for Alan Ashby. On the first pitch from Dave Stewart, Ashby gives the Astros a 3-1 victory in the first game of the National League Western Division Championship Series. Boy, oh boy, Dwayne, after nine innings of almost no offense, I think that home run almost stunned the crowd. It was unbelievable. Thomas can't get it. Astros win. Boy, Denny Walling is really something. He did it in Cincinnati, and he does it again this afternoon. <laughs> and he's going nuts out there. He hits a grounder to Hernandez at first. Now, Hernandez is playing just a little bit deep. Here comes the run. Is he out or is he safe? Carter saw a different play, and he is safe. The Astros win. Pretty good series to win. Try to do it on this pitch. And he loops it down the line in right field for a base hit, and the Astros will win the game 7 to 6. We're watching Fred Brocklander, and the Astros have won it in an incredible game. Ball is pulled to the right field corner, and that'll be the ball game. Franklin Stubbs will score, and the Astros win 4-3. to three. It's The base is loaded in the ninth, and a line drive base hit to left. Here is Davis coming up with the ball. This, the throw to the plate, not in time. The Astros win it. Off Machado his first time up, and this ball is going to win the ball game if Sarbury can't get to it, and he can't get to it. The Caminetti. Rip to right field, and this game is over. The Astros have won it. Two outs. Swung on, line drive, and the Astros have won it. Houston has won it by a score of 3-2 to and five consecutive base hits. There's the looper, short right, dunk it back, can't get it, the Astros win it. Jan Obergfell with a bloop single in the bottom of the 13th to drive in the winning run. And this would score Mark Davidson, Paul O'Neill with a try in right field, but he can't make the grab. And there were nobody out on the play anyway, so Houston goes on to win by the final of 2-1. to one. Zip, zip. I'm in the final at bat against the Dodgers in this series. In the bottom of the 10th, Craig Biggio, the one-out single to score Gerald Young, just ahead of Daryl Strawberry's throw. So the Astros have now won seven straight games, their longest winning streak since May of 1989. One and two to Bagwell, and he hits it high and deep to center field. Lewis is back, and it is out of here. A home run for Jeff Bagwell, and this game is over. A home run with one out to tie in the ninth. And a three-run home run here in the 11th to win it for Art Howe's Houston Astros. On second base, Luis Gonzalez steps to the plate facing David West. Gonzalez, the base hit to right field. Finley coming around. Eisenreich's throw, not even close. And the Astros go on with a 3-2. 5-4. Men on first and second. Ken Caminetti, deep to left. Just off the top of the wall. Finley scores to tie it. Jeff Bagwell comes around and there's no throw. No throw to the plate. Mitch gets bailed out. Welcome to the world of the wild thing, Houston. Bottom nine, tied at three. Bases loaded, two outs, and guess who's up again? Yes, it's that same Biggio guy, and he comes through once again with the single opposite way. Chris Donalds would score, and the Astros are a winner. Biggio going three for four. Astros win it four to three. Tied, bottom of nine, two outs. And he's Stankowitz on third. Craig Biggio, the deep high fly ball, Derek May. Derek can't make the catch. 
Stanky scores, Astros win. That's always good, taken out on the inanimate object. Bottom of the ninth, game tied at one, first and second, and Cedeno comes through again. Base hit to left, two outs, bottom of the ninth. That drives in the game-winning run as Houston prevails two to one. Strikes, two outs, bases loaded, the pitch. Right field, base hit, Astros win it. Ball game. Straight away center. Langford at the wall. Goodbye! There they go. Line drive, face hit. Gilkey up with the ball, here comes Biggio, and the Astros win it. Mike Sims with a pinch single, as one it for Houston. And we're tied at two. Here it comes. There it goes. James Mouton, who was filling in for the injured Bell, takes Mike Stanton deep over the wall for the game-winning home run. Bottom nine, 5-3 Marlins. Here it comes. There it goes. Biggio taking Rob Nen deep. A three-run shot. Good night. Game over. Drive home safely. The Astros pull it out 6-5. Bottom 12. Another 12-inning game. Bases loaded. One out. Jerry Goff. His first game with the Astros this year. Delivers. Astros win 5-4 in 12 innings. Has an arm as well. Bottom nine. Astros have tied the game after scoring one. 4-4. This is Orlando Miller's base hit to win it. Look at Derek Bell. He scores the game winner. Astros get three in the last two innings to win it. Makes a mistake and may make some pay. That's a single. Rickard Finaita's throw. It's not going to get Craig Biggio. The Astros find a way to win again. This time by the score, three to two. We'll play a couple more. Bottom 12, Orlando Miller. The base knock. Bagwell scores the winning run. 5-4 Astros. Break out the cannon. Eric Bell. Here we go. Base hit right field. Pangelosi scores the game winner. The Astros scoring two in the bottom of the ninth to win it. 5-4. Jeff Bagwell with the bases loaded. He rips one of the guys. Plus in 45. <laughs> Plus in 45. Three to two, Astros over the card. Young Joe Roa pitching for the Giants. Brad Osmus breaks his bat, but lines the first pitch into left field for the game winner. Astros win it 5-4, Osmus. No way in this green earth we're going to let Bagwell beat us. It's going to have to be Luis Gonzalez, and he did. Bagwell beats the throw home. So they intentionally walked him, and he scores the winning run. Astros win 4-3. Bottom of the 10th, bagpipes, yard work. His league-leading 18th. 4-3, the Strohs win it. Well, once again, the Dodgers don't score five runs. Bottom nine, tied at two, Tom Kelly. Is he worried? Yeah. Steinbach bobbles the squeeze bunt, and you could see the backspin on the ball. Astros win it three to two. Second error in the last 16 games. Takes Remmer to puts in Scott Sullivan. Tony Eusebio, you betcha. That goes right up the middle off Sullivan. Bell comes home. Key play. Tenth we go. Former Expo Sean Barry. Has just won the ball game. Astros take it by a 9-8 final on the home run. Chalk up eight in a row for the Strohs. They're now eight games over the 500 mark. Two now. Base is loaded. They get him out. They go to extra innings. Oh, no. A plunk. Not Eric Plunk. A hit batter. And the Strohs win it. Two out. Sean Berry takes the pitch and rides it out. His third home run of the year. The Astros put it out with two outs in the ninth. Barry, Bob, the hero's welcome. And Barry. Out. Barry's getting his swerve on. Flies to left center. The ball will drop in. Tim Bogar scores. Barry two for four in the game. Another blown save for John Franco. Astros get the win. Four to three. Two in the bottom of the ninth. Kerry Leitenberg facing Craig Biggio. Goodbye. Fifth of the year. At your game winner. Biggio was two for five. As the Astros break the Braves' seven-game winning streak, and Biggio gets congratulated. Three to two. Bottom 12, Nen to Derek Bell, who has been outstanding all season for the Astros. There's your base hit. There's your game. 14th, tied at nine. Bottom of nine, runners in the corners. Bogar, the liner base hit. Carl Everett, 
coming in, and the Astros win it. 10 to 9. Matters later. Mark Leiter facing Richard Hidalgo. Bases bloated, nowhere to put him. And he hit him in the side. That's how this one would end. The hit by pitch brings in the game winner. Bottom 10, Richard Hidalgo in third. Pinch hitter Tony Eusebio made up the 20th Astro win in their last at bat. Hidalgo scores. Eusebio mobbed. He said Gutierrez and Biggio were hitting me on the head. It was almost like a fight. 4-4. Four, four. Terry Mahalan with two outs and the man on third. He gets the comeback and throws it away. Derek Bell knocks in Tim Bogar in the bottom of the 11th. Bottom of the 12th now. It's Derek Bell up close and personal. And Derek Bell. The solo shot to end the ball game. Number 21 for him. And that is it. The Strokes take it 6-5. to five And the replay confirms what we already suspected. That was the game-winning homer, and afterwards, Bell says, oh, my God. Game tied at three. Carl Everett on third after a triple. The former Met. Richard Hidalgo hits the fly ball to center. Lance Johnson will make the catch, but Everett, who got the third when Sammy Sosa hesitated a bit on the triple, scores the winning run. Astros win 4-3. Cubs would have to wait for the result of the Giants game to decide their fate. Forced out at the plate, so there's one out, bases loaded for Carl Everett. Through and past the glove of Lenny Harris into left. Spires come on down, Astros win 2-1 and 12 at Maine. Four straight pitches, then I'm feeling you, Biggio. Up the middle, scores Glenn Barker. Biggio, a thick three for five day at the plate. Astros win it, 3-2. Nine, still tied at one, one on second for Craig Biggio. Base hit, Gabe Kapler is fielding. Glenn Barker is running, developing situation, and Barker's got the winning run as the Astros win it 2-1. to one. That's going to come right here with the game tied at 2. Bell walking, the winning run walked in by Jones, and Houston wins it 3-2 and 10. The bottom of the 11th, tied, bases loaded, Tom Candiotti against Craig Biggio, and the knuckler floats past Einar Diaz, and Bill Spire scores the winning run. Candiotti bumming. Astros loving. Bottom of the 13th, tied at four. Jeff Bagwell is pictured on first. Carl Everett takes Bobby Ayala deep out and gone. Two run homer. Thanks for coming tonight. Don't forget where you parked. Is second of the game, 23rd of the year, and the Strohs win it six to four. Ed Reggie Sanders scores bottom of the 10th. Two outs, two out hits are for heroes. Philly Spires ripping it back through the box. Andrew Jones, no matter. Moises Alou was going to score anyway. Astros win it by a count of 5 4. Nine were tied at seven. Bases loaded. Richard Hidalgo, the winning run. Chris Truby to center. Adrian Brown goes back. Hidalgo, the winning run. Here he comes. Do we have a situation or not? We do not. Game over. Strohs win it by the score of 8 to 7. Yanked. And he really didn't appear to be that pleased about it. Bottom of the 12th, Astros down 6-5. How's this for quality? Bill Doggo, again, he's a hero. His second homer. Astros win it in the 12th, 8-6. to six. In second, Chris Truby, smart baseball. Bunch of runners over. Gets it down. Ricky Vitalico tries for the out at third, throws it away. And Glenn Barker trots home, E1, to score the winning run. Astros win it by a count of 7-6. So Wagner, one out from... Mike Fetters facing Richard Hidalgo, and there's your ball game. 9-9 nine, nine in the ninth, and now it is over. Houston wins a 10-9. Hidalgo's second game-ending home run this year is 10th home run of the season. I'm thrilled either. Right in pitching, Craig Biggio. That's a game-winning home run for the Houston Astros. Biggio, 16th home run of the year. And obviously, Joe McEwing and Mike Piazza have seen better days, and they all happened last year. Time, double play, extra innings. Voice of Salou. Want to know why he's the NL leading hitter? Good effort by Edgardo Alfonso, but not good enough. The only hit of the game from Moises Salou, and it's golden as the Astros win in 10 innings, 4 to 3. Six, Atman facing Daryl Ward. Let's see, Clubhouse Buffet is now open. Ward's second homer of the year off the foul pole. Astros win it by a count of 7 6. It's the first clearly. Bottom nine, game tied at one. Sean Lowe, Jose Vizcaino. 
Could it be a walk-off? It's Vizcaino's second home run since 1999. Astros win their seventh in a row, their first seven-game winning streak since a franchise. It's a tie ball game, 6-6. John Rocker is on. Craig Biggio in a breakout series. After an error out on the field, and Craig Biggio, it's got to feel good. He was 6 for 9 after 11. Bottom of the 12th, though. Bases loaded. Jeff Bagwell, pinch hitting. How badly did he want this? On a 2-2, chased one outside, drives in the winning run, and he ends it. A very emotional moment after this game. Didn't take long. All teammates knew just how close he was with Darryl Cotton. An 0-2 pitch, and it's got all of the plate and Zod. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He did. Yes, he did. That's it, and that's all. Zahn's second home run of the year. And frankly, he's he's pretty excited. I'll let you watch. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mr. Zahn. It's all yours. But his eighth ties the game at three. In the bottom of the ninth, with two outs, Julio Lugo, Brad Awesome is coming around. He is safe at the plate. Astros win 4 3. There, bottom 10, still tied at five. Fisio who had gone to third on a sack fly to right, he would score in a single. If he didn't get the third and the sack fly from Bagwell. Additional walk to Jose Vizcaino, you know, Craig Biggio, money hitter. That's fair inside the third baseline. Osmus will score and pinch runner Brian Hunter touches the plate with the winning run. Astros score five with last wraps. Venice in the ninth, comeback, eight seven. Now that's after all that discussion. That's a walk-off home run, Morris said. The same pitch got hit for home runs both times. Ken second. He's up to 306 on the year. Astros win 3-2 with a walk-off homer. Sorry, Tony. Houston 7-2, matching the best start in franchise history. All right, we have the flagpole. Settled for three bags. Bottom 10 tied at five. The base is chucked. Greg's on. That's not going to get out either. But it's deep enough with nobody out in the bases. Low to score. Morgan Ensberg with the winning run from third. And the Astros in extras by a count of six to five. Tough one. Bases loaded now. Jason Laney to post-game BP Friday. Pays off Saturday. Base hit. Ensberg scores. The Astros win 4-3 in the bottom of the ninth. Hawkins gives up two runs, three hits, and one third. And he takes the loss. But Brad Lidge blew the save, and Klaus Clemens the win. Bottom nine, game tied, two on, two outs. Morgan Ensberg, 3-0 pitch. Get out! Off Miguel Batista. Astros win it, 6-3. Extra inning, bottom ten. Morgan Ensberg, after the first two batters walked, Ensberg is clutch, and clutch is everything. Here comes Biggio. Down the stretch he comes, and the Astros save! Win, 3-2. They assume a place in the record books, John. They had... Three sacrifice bunts in the seventh inning. Three. Berg. Willie Tavares is on second to right center. They will wave Tavares, and the Astros win 3-2. Houston has won five of six and 14 of 18. Clemens with the no decision, however, but his 1.48 ERA is still the best in the major leagues. Hayes, but he needs another run to get a win. There's a grab. Way back. Right field. It could be. This ball game is over. Thank you very much, Mike Lamb. Astros win it 2-1 on Lamb's sixth of the year. Two-hour, 15-minute game in Houston. He's in the ninth, huh? Here's Brad Osmus again. This time, guy on second. Bunt this. That's down in the gap. Yep, pick it up. Open the buffet. We're done. Orlando Palmero will score. Astros win it 3-2. They just keep coming, and they are now in a tie for the end of wild card lead. Why, you ask? Well, Al Reyes with Jason Lane. Poised to score the winning run. And Bruntman comes through with a clutch hit to left. Astros win a thriller. Seventh walk-off win of the season for the Strohs. Cards actually blew leads in the ninth, 10th, and 13th innings. Wow. In the standings, it might take a miracle comeback on the field. Here's a wild card team People we didn't said talk Jeff about. was done. Nah, he's not done. They no, got him yet. back. He's taking bad effects a couple of weeks ago. Biggio told me, hey, he said, hey, we need this guy back just off the bench to do exactly that. So the Astros. Leaves the bases loaded with no outs. So Morgan Ensberg, full count, and Ensberg, pop fly. Foul territory near the right field line. Borchard runs into Dan Ugla, trying to make the catch. The ball drops. Astros catch a break. Very next pitch. Ensberg singles through the hole at short. Loretta scores from third, and that's the way the game ends. Astros win 4-3. Ties the game at five. 
If it's off the foul pole, it's fair. Carlos Lee in the bottom of the 10th. That's how this one would end. Bob Holtzman with more on Barry's night and what he can look forward to on Wednesday. By Carlos Lee. Guy said he was a bit overamped. Oh, you think so, Doctor? Blow and save, but not a blowing game in extras. Bottom 11, Brad Osmus off Ron Flores scores Adam Everett. And Houston wins it 5 4, your final. Brad Osmus, intentional, intentional. Later in the inning, Mark Loretta. Oh, Loretta. Same vicinity as Lee and the same result. A walk off home run for the Houston Astros. Brian Fuentes up. Speaking of the wheels falling off the apple cart, he would love to hit the rewind button and go back to when he was untouchable. And it was to Hunter Pence. Pence, first career walk-off home run, third walk-off home run for the Astros in the last week. Houston, a winner. But a 1-1 game goes bonus. Tenth inning, Eric Munson off of Michael Wirtz. And that is a clutch two-out knock. Ty Wigginton scores the gamer. Strohs take it two to one. Brad Lidge gets the W with a scoreless inning of relief. To the 11th, one on one out, Luke Scott facing Ryan Dempster. And he puts one into the gap. Eric Brutland scores. Astros win in a walk off. Not all Dempster's fault. The Cubs stranded 15 runners. They will walk 11 times. And Pence obviously didn't realize where he was. So on the bottom of the 10th, Pence able to stay in the game and do a little more than that. Game-winning singles. Of course, Brandon Backey, the Astros win 5-4. Bottom of the ninth, facing Kyle McLennan. Get out of town, and he means it. Tahana joins Joe Ferguson and Keith Lampert as the only Astros to ever hit walk-off homers in their Houston home openers. In the inning, bottom 12, Hunter Pence. 0 for 5 in the game. Manager Cecil Cooper told his bench coach, Hunter's not going to go 0 for 6. He was right off Mitch Stetter. Fourth, it's a walk-off. Eight-six. Rejected and the Duke replaced by Will Nieves in the ninth. Carlos Lee line drive to center field. Lassens Millage playing shallow over his glove. Kazmat Sui scores. Houston's eighth straight win. Eighth career walk-off hit for Carlos Lee. Carlos for Cliff. Out of the ninth. 1-1. One, one. Miguel Tejada at second. Hunter Pence and only the Hunter survives. Here comes Tejada. Here comes the throw from Edmonds. We call that a bang-bang play, kind of, sort of. Astros <laughs> win it 2-1. They have now won for their last five. Tags out two Yankees. Bobby Meacham and Bear at the plate. White Sox win the game in 11. Meanwhile, in the 10th on this night, Pedro Feliciano facing Darren Erstad. Erstad landed to left. Fernando Tatis with a diving catch, but he can't get Lance Berkman at home, and the Strohs win. Fifth time the Mets bullpen blows a win for Johan Sanders. You know what? 285 career home runs, and Lance Berkman had never hit a walk-off, a walk-off home run. This is his first career walk-off homer. 285 without one. That had been the most by any active player without a home run that ended a game. There are seven. The Astros and Braves, 4-4, bottom nine. Darren Erstad, the pinch hit walk-off of... Jeff Blum again. He had the RBI ground out earlier. This time he scores Miguel Tejada for the game winner. The Astros win it by the score of two to one. Jeff Blum. Up the line. Hunter picks around third for the second straight game. Jeff Blum has a game winning hit. And the Astros win it in the 13th, two to one. The base is loaded. There's another. Jeff Blum has won this ball game six to five. Tejada runs it to left field. And the Astros win it. What a come from behind win. The base is loaded. Line in the right center field. Tall scores. Here's Michaels. And the Astros claim it in the bottom of the ninth inning. Bouncer up the middle. And that will do it. It sneaks through. And here comes Burke. To score the winning run in a two-to-one Astros walk-off win. Carlos is one for three against Juan. Yeah. Get Left field. Yeah. Caballo is watching it go for a game winner. Yeah. Yeah. Line drive. Deep That's left it. center That's field. It. That is a game winning yeah. hit for Hunter Pence. Lance Berkman scores, and the Astros claim it in the bottom of the eleventh inning. It's bottom of the ninth. Line drive. Scores. 
saying Berkman has won the game for the Astros in the bottom of the ninth, eight to seven. Ground ball into the field, and the Astros win it six to five. And it's Bill Hall winning the game in the bottom of the ninth. Need to play hero. He's running. Off the right field line. That's headed for the right field corner. J.R. Torres is headed for third base. Dave Clark is sending him home. And he will score the winning run. Four to three Astros on a game winning double by Fence. Line drive. Over for Cole. Here's Ford. He is going to be safe for the Astros win. The Astros win it in the bottom of the ninth inning. Scoring position. Line drive center field. Bogusevic is coming to the plate. Here's the throw from Kemp. And the Astros win it in the bottom of the ninth inning. The one strike pitch. There's a swing and a bloop. Center field drops in. Base hit. Astros win. Jason Michaels with his third career walk off. Loaded. Up the middle and Phillips diving. Throws to the plate. Gets the four. Dropped the ball. He dropped it. And the game is over. Hannigan couldn't hold on, and the Astros win it here. And the high drive center field. Bird is going back. Bird still back. Oh, drive by Boca Sevic, a game-winning grand slam in the bottom of the ninth inning. What an amazing finish! Told you there was a little more in there. Wow! What a swing of the bat. What an improbable finish for the Astros who trailed from the outset of this game. And then they came up and scored four times in the bottom of the ninth. <laughs> First walk-off pinch grand slam since Greg Zahn against the Diamondbacks in 0-2. But, and here comes Bogusevic, and he will score the winning run. The Astros win it in the bottom of the tenth on a bot by Angel Sanchez. Bogusevic grounds run, that'll win it! A walk-off hit for Brian Bogusevic. That's a liner to the left, and that'll win it! For the there second straight night, the Astros get a walk-off win. The hero. Bouncer, second base, and it goes right through the legs of Valdez. Astros win! Deep to right field. Kadaya back in, Kadaya in the corner, and this one will win it! Brandon Barnes comes up with a game winner in the 12th. Infield in. High drive, forget about that, this game is over! A three-run homer, Carlos Pena. This one gets away, not far, whoa! Altuve could be caught, here's the throw behind, oh the throw gets away from us, here's Villar, here's Villar coming home, and the throw is not in time, and the Astros win it in the bottom of the ninth inning. That's a line shot left field, here comes Villar, and in the bottom of the ninth, the Astros get a walk-off win, provided by Trevor Crow. Brown ball, chop third base side, over the head of Seager, Altuve scores, George Springer wins it for the Astros. Hit in the air, right center field. Rios is going back on the warning track, and that is off the wall. Fowler around third, he'll score, and the Astros win it in a walk-off. Matt Dominguez, the hero. Oh, that could end it. Chris Carter to left. That will end it. 5-4, Houston in the 10th. And Chris Carter. Well, there's a deep drive to right field, and Jason Castro. Oh, and that's ripped down the left field line, and it is off the wall. Gonzalez will score, and the Astros win it in a walk-off. Three to two in the tenth. High drive, right field. Can he do it? Jason Castro. He won the game. He won the game in Houston. Jason Castro hit it out for a three-run homer. Wilson's first pitch, Altuve hits it in the center field, goes on the run, he won't get there, Marisnik scores, Altuve the walk-off winner, and the Astros take it 6-5.
There's a shot to right field. Can this win it for Marwin Gonzalez? Game-winning homer. The Astros do it again. 2-1. That's grounded through the right side, a base hit. Rasmus scores, and the Astros win it in the bottom of the 13th, 3-2. To, to left field, going back, Hernandez at the base of the wall, and that's going to win it. That's another game winner. High drive, right field. There this is over Cincinnati. center field and that will win it. Carlos Correa gives the Astros the win 3-2 to two in the 13th. High drive deep left center field. Springer's into his trot. He's won this ball game. George Springer with a walk-off homer. Correa with a shot that wins it. Carlos Correa comes through. Scores Springer for the winning the middle and all through the center field. Castro's coming to the plate. Hamilton with a throw and the Astros with it. Line drive right center field. That'll win the game. Springer scores. Gonzalez scores. And there's another game winner. High to right field. Oh my goodness, they win it. Do you believe this finish? Luis Valbuena sends everybody home happy. Round that third. Valencia long throw. Offline, and the Astros win it. He cracks one deep for right center field. Heading for the Astros bullpen. That's off the wall. Out to me around third. He's going to score the game winner. And it's 2-1 Houston. One deep right field ball game over. Kip it ain't easy. Tony Kip comes off the bench and with one swing wins the game. Tony Kip a walk off homer in the bottom of the tenth and the Astros win it four to three. Correa drops it in the right and the Astros win it. 4-3. There's a ball. Fair ball into oh, the Yuli. corner. Yuli heading to third. He's going to be waved around. Here comes the relay throw. Yuli is safe at home plate. The ball is dropped. The Astros win it. Out to the gap. Right center field, and the Astros will win. Gurriel does it for the second night in a row. Line drive, base hit. Miles Straw wins the game. The Astros walk it off 2-1. to one. They complete a 7-1 home. You see guys like Stanek and Presley doing stuff. Now Paul Yuli. down the line. That's going to be a fair ball. Yuli's on the move. He's heading to third. He's going to be waved around. The relay throw by Bendik will be late. Astros win it. Cheer. And that is off the pitcher. Pie amps. This one's over. Broken back towards short. Backhanded. Throw nowhere. Astros win. Astros win. J.J. Vanajevic puts the ball in play. And the Astros walk off the New York Yankees 3-2. He's in the game on Monday. Tucker now drive base hit. Tying run scores. Here comes Bregman. Here comes the throw. Bregman will be safe at home plate. Astros win it. 7-6. Loser minds, H-Town, that's a sweep of the Chicago Cubs. Four run, bottom half of the ninth. After a two run eight, they came back from down six to one. And
and win it in walk-off fashion. A couple of walks in the inning. There's a base hit into right field. Jankowski will field it. Here comes Tucker. The throw cut off. Tucker safe. Astros walk it off. Ten to nine. What a game in the Lone Star Series. Yiner Diaz coming up big. Had the opportunity. Yiner Diaz with his first big league walk-off. And there you go. Walk-off win. Astros two back. There's a base hit to right. Astros walk it off two to one. A game they had to win to maintain first place. The even mix between fastball, changeup, and slider. Go ball. That ball hit pretty well to right. And there's a walk off. A walk off with two outs. Victor Caratini, the star of the game. The Astros, who have struggled in extra innings, walk it off 10 to 9. I like him a little dirty. And I like a couple of olives for the walk off. Caratini. That could have been a devastating loss. We mentioned it earlier in the game how losing those five run leagues could sting. But you got the offense, Caratini with a massive pinch hit, two run bomb, and Josh Hader gave you two shutout innings to create the opportunity. The one under run he gave up at the top of the inning. Oh, my bad, yeah. But I got too excited. <laughs> but that carrot. Up the middle, walk off for the second time this year. Victor Caratini wins it again for the Astros, 2-1. to one. Just give me a splash, that's all I'm looking for. Victor Caratini, two for two in opportunities to walk it off in that Astros uniform. Caratini with a couple of caught stealings last night as a starting catcher. And tonight comes off the bench for one at bat, and it's the biggest one of the night for the Astros. Not lay off. Bregman lays off that first pitch down. And Bregman drives one. Ball game over. Up on the train tracks. Union Station is starting a party tonight. What a game. What a win. Mayhem at Minute Maid. Capped by Breggy. Bregman's second career base hit against Blake Trinan. The other was also a walk-off. Yiner hits one high. Ball game over. Jordan sent something to Yiner on his way back to the dugout. And Yiner crushed one for the winner. Hey, bartender. I need a little extra in this one. That is a beautiful Yiner bomb. Yiner Diaz connects on a big fly for an Astros walk-off. Up in position, they did just enough to keep this game close enough 